Hello everyone and welcome back to On The Spot STEM. Today we're going to be doing 2019 F equals MA exam A problem number 5. This problem reads, a cylinder has a radius R and weight G. You try to roll it over a step of height H which is less than R. The minimum force needed to roll the cylinder over is one of these five options. So in this problem where you're trying to find the minimum force, it's usually a good idea to draw a free body diagram. So let's draw all the forces acting on the cylinder because that's the object that we care about. So first, there's gravity which pulls down from the center of that cylinder. We'll label it as G. There's also a normal force that the cylinder feels from hitting the step, so we'll call that R. And there's also the external force that we're applying to push it over. Now notice that there isn't any normal force acting on the cylinder from the ground because when we're pushing the cylinder over, the cylinder is no longer in contact with the ground, so that force would be zero. Right now, we don't know where to exert our force, so we won't include it on the diagram for now. Now we're left with the question to solve for the force using forces or torques. We would rather use torques for these types of problems because we don't know the magnitude or direction of the force R. We would want to put the pivot point right here, the contact between the cylinder and the step. From this, we can find the torque due to gravity. The torque due to gravity is simply just G times the length of the lever arm. And the lever arm is this length, this flat length right here. But how do we find that length? Well, if we zoom in into that triangle, we can see that it is in fact a right triangle with hypotenuse R, because that's the radius of the cylinder, and one leg of length R minus H. Now to see why that's true, it's because if you look at this segment right here, this bottom part has length h, and since this entire segment has a length of r, the leg of the triangle is simply r minus h. So we can use a Pythagorean theorem to find the leg of this triangle, which is the square root of r squared minus r minus h squared. And that's equivalent to square root of 2rh minus h squared. So now we've got our torque due to gravity. Now what about the torque due to our force? Well, we're trying to find the minimum force needed to roll the cylinder over the step, which means that we would want to make the torque caused by the external force equal to the torque caused by gravity, because we would want to cancel out the normal force acting from the ground. So therefore, we would get the torque of gravity equals the external torque we provide, which by our torque formulas is equal to F, which is the magnitude of our force, times R, which is the length of the lever arm. To minimize the force, we want to maximize the length of the lever arm. Therefore, the best place to apply the force is the point diametrically opposite from the contact point between the cylinder and the step, which is right here. At this point, the length of the lever arm is 2r. So this is equal to f times 2r. And f times 2r is equal to g times the square root of 2rh minus 8 squared, which means that if we solve for that, we get F is equal to the square root of 2RH minus H squared all over 2R times G. Looking back at our answer choices, we see that this is in fact an answer, C, so we're done. 